So the only problem about doing this right next to the cable car tracks is that it's uh, a little bit loud. You can hear them. But this is one of my favorite little corners of San Francisco. Washington Street headed downhill into Chinatown with the view of the Transamerica Pyramid. And I'm on a walk and I'm here to talk about the 49ers linebacker room, which got better last night with a special teams edition. They added Ezekiel Turner from originally from the Arizona Cardinals. And Ezekiel Turner, he's a guy that he blocked the Mitch Wisnowski punt back in 2020. So 49ers fans might remember him from that contribution during the week one game that Arizona actually beat the 49ers in at Levi Stadium. Steve Pills, you guys probably notice I'm back in the city. Saw me at SFO last night talking about Ezekiel Turner, but Turner used to be a safety in college at Washington. And 49ers linebacker now. That right there is the theme that we see in the 49ers linebacker room. They love former defensive backs, so these guys can cover. They let Oren Burks yesterday sign with the Philadelphia Eagles. Burks did not cover well in the Super Bowl. They targeted him nine times, nine receptions for the Kansas City Chiefs. Really used Travis Kelsey once Dre Greenlaw went down. But Greenlaw played some DB back in the day. Greenlaw actually, with a GPS tracker at Arkansas, was the fastest player on Arkansas's defense, even as a linebacker. Fred Warner was a hybrid nickelback back in college. Demetrius Flanagan Foles, who the 49ers just re-signed, he played safety at Arizona. But you go up and then Jalen Graham played DB initially at Purdue. D. Winters was a wide receiver in high school and a safety. He was recruited to TCU to be a defensive back and he ended up being a being a linebacker so you look at the profile here for the 49ers as you can see the, the view behind me now i love walking down washington street i'm headed to a good coffee shop you look at the profile of that linebacker position 49ers have been big big on going former dbs and they've been blessed with the best linebacker playing football and you know now they're stacking new guys Devondre Campbell the addition from Green Bay is the only one without a DB background but he used to be able to move well I think he slowed down a little bit but they're, 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 they're trying to pour into that position so that it stays good because it's been such a huge key of their success in recent years defensively it's what has tied the Russian coverage together and it's why linebacker was the first thing that Kyle Shanahan mentioned when he fired Steve Wilkes he said that he wasn't communicating well enough with the linebackers. And the linebackers are what do tie that rush and that coverage together. It's been an overhaul of the 49ers defense this season, right? The 49ers have, this offseason, the 49ers have said, hey, we slipped too far from 1 to 12. We need to work on a defensive line. They weren't happy with the performance there. And I think the secondary, they, they, they still, I think they took strides under Steve Wilkes. I think he deserves some credit for that. But there's still at least one starting defensive back short. And that's where Isaac Yadam comes in, the former New Orleans Saint. I think that that's a signing that could potentially give the 49ers an outside corner. He played so well over the back half of last season. That was his best season. Maybe the light finally came on for him. You could see that both the front end and the back end have undergone improvements. And now the 49ers want to tie it in with that linebacker position. We're making our way downhill. Good thing I'm not walking uphill right now. Still, I mean, the city sells something else in San Francisco. Anyway, Ezekiel Turner, special teams guy, linebacker. I, I don't think that he's going to be a, a, a major player at linebacker unless there are injuries for the 49ers. But special teams is something worth mentioning for San Francisco because so many signings so far have been directed at that special teams unit. Between Ezekiel Turner, Chase Lucas... He's going to be a, a nickelback guy. He's going to work at least with those uh, with, with those players and maybe give the 49ers some depth or competition inside. But Chase Lucas is a gunner. They re-signed Chris Conley, the receiver, who did such a good job as a gunner in the Super Bowl for the 49ers. I mean, it was big-time investment in special teams, and that was another part of this team that struggled last year at number 25, 25 DVOA. They still need a returner. Ray Ray McLeod signed with Atlanta, so... 49ers need a returner to round out this improvement that they've been making on special teams during free agency. 
Obviously, uh, the, the need for a safety is probably still there with Talanao Hufanga's status uh, still being one of a, a player in rehab from an ACL tear. And we talk about the offensive line and a future look at offensive tackle, but what San Francisco has been doing so far is preparing themselves for the NFL draft. All right, so we made it to where I'm going. Still see the pyramid? Mason and Washington and right behind me, Gallery Cafe. We're gonna take a step in, see how it is. Everybody, we will talk to you very soon.